Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Dice and Spirit Program with Lone Debater 7. And today, we're going to be setting up our Red Science. So, first thing first, uh, since last episode I did a couple things. I went ahead and built out, or mined out this coal, turning it into graphite. Built some power, just to help us a little bit. It'll really crank up once we get these running. Um, then I also relocated our Blue Science to over here. Uh, so I've got four magnets, four circuits, feeding nine labs, making blues. Seems to be keeping up just fine. I've got a buffer box on top of the splitter. I'm going to do the same thing with the reds, uh, just so we can store up any science that we're not using, what have you, so we can handle a large influx if we need to. Um, so I already have the graphite. To make red science, the recipe is energetic graphite and hydrogen. So we already have the graphite done. That's easy enough. Just smelt some coal, bing, bang, boom. You got your energetic graphite. To get hydrogen, however, we need to get into some oil refining. So I went ahead last time, we automated our oil refineries as well as our oil extractors. So I think we're just gonna hook up a few of these nodes. So I'm gonna grab this one, gonna grab this one. And they do take power, so we'll power these guys up, easy enough. And I'm gonna merge these belts. I don't know exactly where I want to put my oil facility yet, but there's two of them. We probably want to grab at least one more oil. So we'll maybe grab this one up here, assuming we can. Hopefully we can tap this. We can't because of the ammo belt. Okay, uh, let's see if we can fix that because I would like to utilize this oil. So if I do this and grab our extractor, still in the way. Is that because of this belt, probably? Let's see. Can we fit this in? Uh, we should be able to fit something in. I think I do want it going this way. And then we just need to reconnect this ammo belt before I forget. Otherwise, we might be in a bit of trouble. But should be easy enough to do. Like that. Okay, cool. Then we're going to run a long belt from this guy over to this guy and since we're over here we might as well grab this seat as well we've got one more extractor might as well use it so we'll throw that guy down there and we'll just run this into this belt now we're probably gathering way more oil than we actually can support on our yellow belts but that's all right i'm not too worried about it at some point we'll likely upgrade the main feed belt for our oil to a faster belt which then can hold more stuff um, but okay, so those two are tapped. I just need to run the belt. So let the robots do their thing. Kind of help them a little. <laughs> uh, yeah, building belt by hand, not super quick. So I don't generally do it. Um, but sometimes, you know, you can throw a piece down here or there for your bots really can help them kind of get through this little thing. So, all right, there's that. And I guess we could build our refinery like up here. I am just going to maybe level that a little bit with some foundations. And then let's see. I do want to run that into there. And then like this. We'll probably do something like this. Okay. And then for oil, we've got a refinery right here. And basically it's going to take oil in right easy enough to understand and then we need to get our refined oil and hydrogen out of it which i ultimately will buffer uh i think but let's build this belt all the way out and kind of just get this set up now kind of the way to do this you want to have two next to each other like this i think leave a space of two do another two space of two leave another two space of two leave here. So we could start with like, what is that? Eight. Let's go ahead and make it 10. Why not? Um, I think that's about right. And then let's get the sorters to throw in our oil. And this build is going to be way bigger than what we really need right now, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to grab the recipe, use comma to copy, period to paste set all of these bad boys to what they need to be and then we're gonna grab power bring it over 
for our friends. Cool. And then basically what I need to do now is get this set up so we can... Does the oil even make it all the way down here? Um, not quite, honestly. So what might make more sense is let's change our belt. So this one feeds in there. And then this guy can run down and beat in like half. Uh, actually, I want to put that in further. It looks like it was hitting the first like six. So we'll use the other two to be the second half of our line here. Should be okay. That's probably the most you can do on the yellow belt. So not a big deal. We will just build all that. Cool. Trim this line. And these guys take oil. So we'll drop some oil in. There you go. Have a nice time. So this one's getting fed. Is the next one getting fed? It doesn't look like it. So really, let's run it in right after this sorter. Then I can get the whole line filled. Okay, cool. And obviously it's gonna spill through because these are full on products now, but that is fine. Let's get the belt set up for our hydrogen and our refined oil. So this I think will be hydrogen. This will be refined oil. And right now we don't really have a use for refined oil, but that's okay. Um, let's see, where does that start? Up at the top? Okay. Uh, sure. Doesn't actually matter on this part too much. And I'm basically just going to link these guys together like this. Um, we'll show you how to do the splitters in just a moment. I just want to lay out all the belts so the bots can get busy. Ooh, that's right. This is where it gets a little bit weird. Um, so actually I shouldn't connect that external belt to the cross line until I finish getting all the interior belts. So all the interior belts are kind of going to flow like this. Just some big L's, uh, not because we're losing, but because they're efficient, uh, and look decent, right? Um, let's go ahead and grab this one, bring it over. Now... Take our refined oil or whatever is going to be on this outside belt, like so. Ooh, it's going to collide, isn't it? Okay. So really, this guy needs to be one tile out, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it can go like that. So we will instead run it like this. all right now we need to place our sorters now these machines with this recipe output two products right so up to this point in the series everything's always only produced like one thing so we haven't had to worry about filtering our outputs quite yet but we do need to worry about it now so let's start on the outside and i think we'll do the inside belt as hydrogen outside belt as refined oil just like that. Let me build this, please. There we go. So now I need to hook up the rest of these. Should be easy enough. Um, so this is hydrogen. This is refined oil. That's hydrogen. This is refined oil. Hydrogen. Refined oil. Refined oil. Hydrogen. You want to make sure you get your filter set right. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have to clean this giant belt. And that is not a fun time. I speak from experience. Totally have made that mistake before. Uh, it's easy to do, unfortunately. <laughs> so just make sure, like, the best way to keep track of it, in my opinion, is you kind of just do one machine at a time. Then you do the other machine. And there we go. That's all of our sorters. So those are now set up. And what I want to do is use some of our fluid storage. So I'm gonna put, uh, sure, we'll put one there, one like right there. And I can only stack those two high right now, but we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. And this one is gonna be for refined oil. And 
this one is going to be more hydrogen. So we're going to store up refined oil. We do need to find something to use this on. What we can do is actually build some thermal power plants, these guys right here, and burn this. So I think I actually will set up a little line of these. Sure, we'll just put them more deep. Um, just so we don't end up filling up on refined oil and then stop producing hydrogen. Not a fun time. That's not what we want to have happen. So we'll just drop these in while we're getting attacked. I'm not too worried about the attack. Our base is pretty much defended all the way through. And I think, yeah, we'll actually double the outs on these to pass it through. And that should be just fine. So there we go. We've got a little bit of power coming in. Um, which is good because we're going to need it in just a moment. So let's go ahead and bring out our hydrogen. I think I will bring it across. Sure, we'll just bring it all the way over. Like that. Ooh, so close to being perfect. But that's fine. We'll just run it like this, and we should have our red science ready to rock and roll, guys. Big, big gains right here. We've totally upped our science. We were only producing or researching out of three labs. We're now going to try to support nine labs. We should be able to do that. We have nine producing each type of science that we have available to us. So we should be able to fuel nine total labs, researching with those science cubes. We also have a huge buffer of blue science right now, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Um, I do. I probably should go pick up some fuel now that I look at that. But let's just take a look real quick. I'm just going to clear the litter. I don't care about that stuff. Uh, these turrets just need to be rebuilt. But there we go. We got our red science going. Look at us. Big, big wins right here. Making, making that progress magic happen. So let's take a look at the research tree and see what we want to spend our red cubes on uh, right out the gate. So upgrades are not a bad thing. Like we could get Mecha Core 2 wouldn't be bad it's only a hundred of each as well that's not super expensive yeah we'll go ahead and research that first um but what i'd really like to get is signal towers are really good so i'd like to get those probably as our first actual unlock off of our science now i want i know that they have like logistics robots now. um distribution logistics this guy requires magnetic levitation okay so we need this guy for the green motors and then we'll also throw in this guy and sure why not we'll get that guy as well for really fast sort of belts and uh, sorters we're not even making the upgraded tier belts yet or sorters um, so that's fine we won't be using those anytime soon but not an end not the end of the world it also makes sense I think to get deuterium fractionation is that the one I want? No, it's something x-ray cracking. This is the one I want. I want to do this. Basically, you can significantly increase the amount of hydrogen you get, and it uses our refined oil, and it generates our graphite. So our red science build, while it is working and looks great, um, ultimately what this is going to be is we're just going to run this hydrogen refined oil and use our oil products that are being made over here to run all of our red science because with x-ray cracking you do that in a chem plant i think do you do that in a chem plant uh where's that at uh, not reformed cool we got mecha core that's great um where was it i probably just passed it x-ray cracking this guy so this recipe is done in a refinery so we use more refineries than just these guys but basically you pass in your hydrogen, you pass in your refined oil, and you can make more hydrogen and also energetic graphite. You need energetic graphite and hydrogen in order to make red science. So we can basically use oil exclusively to do all of our red science. Uh, we are also filling on refined oil right now. So we are going to fly over to the bus real quick and pick up some more thermal plants just because... If our refined oil storage fills up all the way, we will basically not be making any more red science. So, sure, we'll grab like 25 of these. Why not? That's probably more than what we need. But, hey, go big or go home, right? Uh, <laughs> so, let's fly back over here. 
we're going to finish building out this little makeshift temporary uh, power plant that we have going um, using our refined oil to um, just make sure that we don't fill up all the way. So I do need to burn some foundation to make this happen. And basically, we're just going to do it in lines of four. That should be fine. And do I want to... That's probably enough. I mean... I think that'll be enough to burn off all the refined oil for you. So let's do this. I'm going to land because I noticed that we are kind of like burning fuel pretty bad. We're going to double sorter out the back of each of these. Just so it gets to the last one. Then we'll do three sorters feeding them with the refined oil. Just like this. And this just gives us a little bit more power which is good i mean we were basically burning all the power that we were generating there for a minute so let's see is this does this even make it to the end i guess it does yeah okay cool and it looks like that did it's like slowly burning through the refined oil and that's fine i don't care if these generators turn off necessarily um i'm more concerned about these refined oil tanks filling up um but okay cool so we now have our science relocated to a more permanent place, at least for now. Once we have planetary logistics, this might get moved up to one of the poles or something like that. But I think we're going to wrap it up here for today, guys. In the next episode, um, we're going to take a look at setting up our missile turret array. So a bunch of missile turrets that can defend our entire planet. And we're going to take a look at how the signal towers operate. So. We might also take the fight to the dark fog next time because, let's be honest, I don't like getting attacked. Nobody does. So let's clear these bases off of our planet. That way we don't have to worry about them anymore. Um, so in the next episode, be sure to look out for um, basically what we're going to do next time is look at missile turrets and then do some combat with the dark fog and kind of show you how to clear the bases off your planet. Uh, but guys, if you enjoyed the episode today and found it helpful, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. Um, until next time, this has been Lone Debater 7, and we will see ya!